This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... sun turns, so do we. We have our giant magnetic loops still present upon La Sol. We get laser beams, double satellite sabers, giant flying coronal mass ejections. See, like during the 21st, 22nd, that is just incredible. That is a lot of energy output by the sun in both light and plasma form, I do imagine. I would like to personally welcome everyone to Solar Crazy Town. We've got a little bit of everything here. We got flying filaments. We got a giant earth facing sunspot. We've got magnetic loops and we've got comet C2014 Q2 Lovejoy approaching earth's orbital plane. And if you've been watching comets in the sun over the last few years, it does definitely seem like the sun interacts with comets. So slide into your dancing shoes, put your thinking caps on and grab yourself an adult beverage. Here I am, chickity, checking in on the sun and any solar salvos that have been fired. We've got giant coronal hole at the bottom. Now, as you can see here, we've got holes growing. you got holes growing here, holes growing here, holes growing here, holes growing here, holes growing here. A lot of the pie crust coronal separation that we talk about happens to be here. At some point, the SDO camera flips over. And we got hit by one of those asteroids they were talking about. But as you can see in the coronal hole, it's huge. My theory is that in those areas, less heat is being produced. Even if you have a day and a half of less heat, that means shiz is about to get colder, ladies and gentlemen, on Thor's sunspot lesser heat theory. 